In a previous demo, we already learned the basic coding in QEMU. This time, we're going to learn on how to pass your USB device in Windows. So let's start. To start with, let us examine first our device manager. And to do that, head over to our folder, select this PC, right click, click manage, then from here select device manager, next we need to identify only the attached device that will later on forward to QEMU. As you can see, these are the list of devices attached to my PC. But we need to only select the particular device which you think that only needed to QEMU. So take note, not all from this list are very important. Just make sure that you know the exact device and the things you need to do later on when you forward these things. So let's start. The crucial part here is we need to identify what particular device we need to use. So let's say a while ago, I plug my joystick and I need to find that in here. So basically, when it comes to that part of controllers, it will be appear on these human interface devices. Then from here, you can see uh, these are the list of device under here. Now, if I would be correct, it should be this device. So to identify what are the device that I'm looking for, I need to unplug my USB joystick. And then, you see? So it only shows that this or my joystick is attached under to this type of category. So let me put it back. And there you go. Next, in order to power this device, let us examine the information about this selected device itself. And to do that, we need to right click on that particular selection, then select properties. Then from here, click details. Now, if you scan this section here, there are a bunch of information needed in our, or should I say, you can use any from here as a reference to our QEMU. But on my preference, it would be best to select the hardware or this one, hardware IDS. Okay. From here, because this represents the USB classes or the USB information. So from here, you can say that this PID, this is the vendor ID, which is 2563, and the PID is the product ID, which is 0575. And we have this rep, I think this is a revision of 0200. So notice there were two. So better, we need to take note this information. There is also another way on how to identify these devices. And to do that, let's say, let's close this one. To know what device you are looking for, head over to your USB icon here. So uh, this could be inside here or on my section here, it is uh, display outside. So what we need to do is we need to right click that USB icon. Then from here, select the open devices and printers. 
as you can see, this is much easier because in here, all the attached device listed on our PC is already defined here. So as you can see, we have now this bunch of devices attached and also including the printers and this other device here. So on my case, I'm going to scan or select this USB gamepad. Now, if we right click this one, select properties. Then from here, pick our select the hardware. Then you can see there are two things you need to choose from. So since we're looking at the HID, so this is a human interface device, then click properties. Same goes, it will forward to this HID information. So from here, if you scan back again the hardware IDS, still the same. Remember the device that I chose a while ago? It's still under vendor ID 2563 and product ID 0575. Now, if you go back to your list of device, And there you go. So still the same. So they belong to one group. So which means these two are identically to the same device. So this is the very important part because later on we need to use this information in forwarding to our QEMU. All right. For beginners, this is a little bit confusing. But if you're working with QEMU, you only need only the key point, like the vendors and the product ID. Now, if you want the much easiest way to get this information, there's also a lot of application you can choose from online. Like this one, the, the one that I downloaded earlier, uh, you can call the, uh, you can get this from nearsoft.com and the device called USB Debut. Now from here, this is much easier because as you can see, it's already list down the USB device needed on your QEMU. To use this app, just simply select the device like this one, the USB gamepad, and then double click. Now from here, we can already see the information you want. So let's say the product ID and the vendor ID. All right. So this is much easier and much cleaner if you think. So just get it from nearsoft.com and try it and see how it works on your part. All right. From this point here, let us proceed now with QEMU. So let's start. Before we begin, let us examine first our code line. On the first line here, this is the original code. Then we need to add these two lines for our USB to work. On the second line here, this is the USB 3. We, since we don't know if our USB belongs to 2 or 3, so better to initiate this code line here. Now, on the last line here, this is the device that we scanned earlier. So this, we need to call the USB from host. Then from here, we need to specify the vendor ID and the product ID. Now for the format, you need to specify as 0x with the vendor ID. Same goes with product ID, 0x and the product ID. So that's it. So let's proceed with the coding. Before we begin our coding, let us examine first our guest OS. From here, let us examine the list of USB by opening our terminal. So let's start. For us to know the list of USB exists, let us type the following. 
L S U S B. As you can see, these are only the PODs of USB device exist in our guest OS. This time, let us turn off our guest, then head back to our host. Then we're going to proceed with the code line. So let's start. From our USB debut, we'll get the vendor and product ID. So from here, you're going to pick the device that I want to power. So for this example, I'm going to power my USB gamepad. So this is the selection. So just double click this one. And as you can see, we have a product ID of 0575 and a vendor ID of 2563. So that's all what we need. Uh, so let's proceed now with the coding. At this point here, you might wondering that I have only two files. If you watch the demo, you can check that and see how did I create with QEMU using batch file. All right, so let's proceed with the coding. From here, let us right click this batch file. Right click, then select edit from our code line head towards the end then from here let us paste the following this is the first line so next let's forward the usb host Okay, from here, as you can see, I already powered my vendor ID and the product ID. Let's save this one. Then hit close. Once done, let us run now our batch file. Right click, open. Let's log in. From here, let us check back again by heading to our terminal. Then let's type ls usb and there you go notice here that's it guys at this point here our usb was successfully powered in our guest os but before we end our session let us discuss first some key pointers and concerns when running or forwarding the USB using Windows. As you can see, when I run our QEMU, it displays a bunch of errors at the back. So it means that the device that I powered earlier, it's not supported. So probably there's a 
communication error between the host and the guest. But if you are working with Linux or Macs other than Windows, these are all okay. So feel free to try with any USB on your part and see which of the USB has a good or stable connection. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and see you guys on the next video series. Cheers!